dear students our today's topic is evolution of computer first of all we have to understand what is the meaning of evolution 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 means to develop means to be changed with time from simple early forms to more advanced forms During ancient time finger stones and bones were used by people to perform calculations the need to keep a track of numbers led to the invention of different calculating devices starting from abacus the first counting device many devices were invented leading to the development of computers abacus abacus was the first mechanical device used for calculation It was developed by Chinese around 5000 years ago. It was made up of wooden frame with rods. The frame was divided into two parts, heaven and the earth. The upper part of the frame is known as heaven and the bottom part of the frame is known as earth. Napier spoon In 1607 John Napier a Scottish mathematician invented Napier spoon which were used for performing addition subtraction multiplication division and square roots then Pascal in Blaise Pascal a French mathematician invented an adding machine called Pascal's calculator it used gear wheels and dials on this machine numbers were displayed by rotating the wheels it was capable of performing addition and subtraction leibniz calculator leibniz the famous german mathematician improved on the pascal's machine in 1671 to make the leibniz calculator it was a mechanical device apart apart from performing addition and subtraction the leibniz calculator could even do multiplication division and find square roots early it inventors means charles babbage charles babbage a british mathematician is considered as father of computer he invented a working model of the mechanical computer called the difference engine then analytical engine it was quite similar to a simple computer system the analytical engine had five units input output store mill and control these units worked like the modern computer all the computers that are used nowadays are based on it agusta ada lovelace lady agusta ada lovelace was an english mathematician She is considered as the first lady programmer who suggested binary data storage 0 and 1 instead of decimal number systems. George Wool George Wool was an English mathematician. He realized that complex mathematical problems could be solved by reducing them to series of questions. So having either positive or negative answers he linked them with the binary number system and represented the positive results by 1 and the negative one by 0 this theory of boolean logic became the fundamental principle for the design of computer circuits dr herman holrith was an american and invented the tabulating machine This machine was capable of reading data, processing it and giving the desired output. John von Neumann A modern type of computer came into existence with John von Neumann's development of software. How would I can He developed the first automatic sequence controlled calculator Mark 1 in 1944. This machine was capable of executing long computation automatically. 
ENIAC stands for Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer. The first general purpose electronic digital computer and it was invented by John Mosley and J. Presper Acker. And UNIVAC stands for Universal Automatic Computer was the world's first commercially available computer designed by J. Presper Eckert and J. Mosley. It was the first computer to handle both numeric and text data. Now generation of computers. The evolution of the present day computer can be classified into generations of computers. First generation computers the first generation computers used vacuum tubes and magnetic drums for memory. Using a great deal of electricity, they were very expensive to operate, very large in size, often taking up entire rooms. Second generation computers used transistors. Transistors replaced vacuum tubes in the second generation of computer still generated a great deal of heat that subjected the computer to damage. Third generation computers used integrated circuits, ICs. Transistors were placed on ICs, a silicon chip which drastically increased the speed and efficiency of computer. Fourth generation computers the fourth generation computers used microprocessors. Computer could be linked together to form networks, which eventually led to the development of the internet. And many high level languages were developed in the fourth generation, such as COBOL, Fortran, BASIC, Pascal and C language. Then fifth generation computers based on artificial intelligence are still in development and uh, they will be able to recognize image and graph. Now types of computer. Computer can be classified into the following types with respect to their size, speed, storage, capacity and cost. Microcomputers. These computers are small in size and cheap. They are mainly used in homes, schools, offices, shops, bank, etc. Then mini computers. Mini computers are bigger in size than the microcomputer. They have higher processing speed. Mainframe computers. These computers are very powerful. They are big in size and have a large memory and high speed. Mainframe computers are very expensive and used in large business organization. Universities, banks, scientific laboratories, airline and railway ticket reservation, stock exchange market, etc. Supercomputers. Supercomputers are the most powerful computers with a huge processing speed. These computers are used for weather forecasting, space research, satellite control, etc. So students, day-to-day -day computers are growing power and speed and reducing in size and further evolving. Thank you.